Come on, Sophia. Yes. Quick happy birthday to Craig. Come on. Yeah. Right, so let's talk about me now. Um, right, so my name's Ian Vickers. Great to meet you all this morning. Great to have this opportunity to talk, obviously, about my spotlight. Um, that should be coming up there. All right, let's check in. Right, so about me then. Um, Yellowstone's my company, but I'll tell you a little bit about me and why I do what I do. And like um, Nat says, it's all about family. That's my family. I don't see much of them because they're all over the world at the minute, but that's what I've brought them up to do is travel um, and live life to the full, which is fantastic. So when we get together, we, we do a lot together. Um, I would also ask when we started this to say something that nobody else knows about me. So I'm going to tell you a very, very quick little story. <laughs> it's not all fun either, by the way. So obviously that's me at the top there. I used to do B and I for many a year, and one of the one of the main things that we used to get asked to do was tell everybody a little bit about what they don't know about you. And at the time, I'm, at the time, I'm quite proud of this. It's, it's changed a bit since then. But, right. So I once told everybody that I actually let Jimmy Savile out in front of me in a traffic jam. And I felt quite good about it at the time, but I don't know why. Since then, obviously things change as you all know. And if I could turn the clock back, I'd probably shoot him now. And, and if I did that, if I did that, I'd probably get a Nobel Peace Prize. We'd all be happy and celebrating and, and I'd carry that shame every single day. I could, have, I could have changed the world that day, but I didn't. Anyway, moving on. So about my company, uh, Yellow Tom. As I've said to you all this morning, my company is, is set up, um, it's a budget end advertising company that's set up to help local businesses who clearly need online exposure for the services and products that they offer. How do I do that? As I said this morning, I create a business page, there's two examples there. It's a template model and, and I, I do, through an editorial and through conversation with that client, I put together a full privacy of their business that's fully dynamic and can be changed any time throughout the year. How does that work? Clearly we all know about the likes of Google and being the main search engine. My job is to make sure that client can be found for the services and products that's, that he offers or she offers on Google search. And obviously we all know what Google page looks like. So that's my role in life to make sure they get the exposure that they need in order to give them better chances of increased sales for their local community. And I do all that, that's me, I am Mr. Pound a Day. I'm a very cheap character, but that's it. My product works out a pound a day, guys. Uh, and I can do that in any area of the country. We've got 350 web platforms, uh, and that's where we host our business pages. So if you know people who are local in a particular area, that's who I want to talk to. So what am I looking for and how can you help me? I'm not going to expect you to read all that. That's just a pricey of the type of local businesses, just to get me a bit more thought provoking. Um, so typically tradesmen, salon owners, garages, anybody who's got local hard premises, it's a given that they want local businesses, so that could be sandwich shops, restaurants, etc. You get the gist. And, and really, to try and avoid any difficulty, you try to get me a referral, because through all my time in BNI, I know it's difficult. It's just numbers and names of people that you know personally, and I'll try and get myself my own introductions, and that works quite well for me, to be fair. Um, so that, that's all I need your help for, so it's fantastic. Um, I were also asked about, is, is there anybody that you'd particularly like to thank? And the answer was no, I don't want to thank anybody, apart from Craig. But I, I thought about it more and more, and there is a certain gentleman in the room, that I don't thank a lot of people me, which is a bit naff to say, but there's one gentleman in the room I've known a long time, and that's Mr Fraser. Now, Brian Fraser and I go back a long time, probably at least 10 years and if it wasn't for Ryan I wouldn't be here today but then again if it wasn't for me neither would Ryan. Um, I brought Ryan, Ryan was one of my first ever customers about 10 years ago uh, when he was a, a, a plastering company and as time moved on between, between our relationship I ended up taking Ryan into a B&I group in Leeds which allowed his, his company and his all outlook on business to prosper and meet a lot of next level contracts that he's and, and as you all know he's gone on to do quite well and he's redefined himself as well so he's grown in more ways than one um, <laughs> so so anyway thanks right so what i what i want to finish off by saying is um the question ultimately is how, how, how can i help anybody and what the eba has allowed is it allows us to do if we go out and do something about our 
time that we learn in here, we'll go out and talk to each other and learn about each other's businesses and see how we can help each other. It's a massive, massive benefit. Don't just come to one day networking and expect your life to change, because it doesn't. It's about a philosophy change. And, you know, I, I spent a long time with BNI and I did a lot of mentoring and a lot of mentor coordinating and openly, I'll happily have meetings with anybody who wants to just see how we can better get uh, a return out of your networking and your, your investment in networking for yourselves. Uh, coffee, so just give me a call. I'd love to have a coffee with you and see how we can get more work for you through your networking um, just by using my experience today, really. So, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs>